Hey guys, it's Ethan here from Blender Guys, and today, as you might have guessed, we're going to be going over how to use the window generator to make realistic windows in cycles. So first I'll walk you through how to download the script and where to put it, how to enable the add-on, and then we'll go over the window settings, and then I'll show you how to do the materials, and it'll be ready for your final render. So, first we're actually going to... this. Uh, Add-on is actually by Say Productions. Um, you can find it on Blender Nation or in the link below. Uh, we're just gonna copy this. Control A, Control C to copy, and we're gonna go down here. Open up Notepad and paste it in there. And when you save it, make sure you save it as a PY. So we'll call this. Um, add underscore window dot py and we'll just save it to the desktop for now save that and on your desktop we'll cut that and then you have to find your blender folder I've got mine in program files blender foundation 2.69 is the version I'm using now. Under scripts, and then under add-ons. Just inside the add-on folder, paste it in there. As you can see, I've already got it, so I'm going to move to keep both files. So now I've got the window generator add-on inside the add-on folder, inside scripts, inside 2.69, inside Blender. And now we can actually go in here to file user preferences and as you can see I'm under add-ons right here and you just go over next to the window generator I typed it in here window generator you can see check the little box like that and you're good to go now we can start adding the windows press shift A and then under mesh you'll see window now pops up. So now you've got all the settings for that. Let's actually go ahead and delete our default cube. And now we'll do that again. Drag this up so we can see what we're doing. Now you can actually use a bunch of their uh, built-in presets. They have several different windows and even a door, I guess. But for now we're just going to be sticking with this one. And going through each of the settings here, this is the number of planes. I guess you could do a big commercial skyscraper or something, I don't know. Uh, this is the number vertical planes there. Uh, we'll stick with one for now. This is like the frame around. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you tweak them or hover your mouse over it, it'll give you a little description. Outside frame thickness. This is something similar. Inner frame. And then we got all the windowsill controls here. So you can see what that does. Changes the depth, the width, the height, the everything there. And then you got the top. You can make it a triangle, make it, you know, a little slant, arced, or flat. Now let's try a triangle. And this is you can do percentage or difference. Difference is fine. And then for the materials, it gives you a couple materials. The wood's really not all that great, especially in cycles. It's just like a gray color or something. Uh, we'll change them both to PVC. I think most modern windows are PVC looking. And then this is actually the control, like the width for each window, individual window. Got it from left to right, and then the height for the whole thing. Now if you had a bunch more like this, you're going to get a bunch more settings to control there. If you go up, it's going to stack them up like that. And you control each one individually. So that is most of the settings on this window generator. We can go ahead and go into the materials panel. Change over to cycles here. And we'll use nodes. We're actually going to change plastic to PVC and marble to PVC 
So the only nodes we're actually, the only uh, materials we're going to make is PVC and a glass material. Just to simplify things a little bit. So I'm going to open up my node editor down here. And this is the glass right here. Let me actually do the PVC first. So PVC is pretty simple. You got a diffuse and a glossy mixed with a mix shader. We're going to set the glossy roughness to 0.2. It's not too shiny. Set the mix to 0.2 and plug that right in there. And that gives you kind of a nice, well, PVC look to your material. And next for the glass. This one's a little bit trickier. And I got this off of one of Andrew Price's tutorials. He shows how to do a nice glass that uh, really doesn't have a lot of caustics. And it's really uh, easy on your render time and stuff. So anyway, let's go ahead and add this here. If you want to, uh, shift D to duplicate your shaders and then shift S and brings up the swap shaders. So I'm going to change this to glass and this to transparent. There we are. I'm going to change this to a mix shader. That into the top, that into the bottom. You can leave all those default. Oh, we're going to want to change this to white. And here's the trick. We'll need another mix shader here. And then add in a light path node. Under input, you'll see light path. Add that in right here. OK, here's what we're going to do. We're going to plug the is diffuse ray into the top of this mix shader. We're going to plug the is shadow ray into the top of this mix shader. That gives you a uh, very nice glass shader. So now that we've got all the materials done, we can go ahead and create a few more windows here. So we'll go Shift A Mesh Window. So you can see it gives you the exact same one you just made. You're probably not going to want to do that. So you can change this triangle type to arch. And now you've got a nice arched window. Change the size down a little bit. Not quite that small. Let's go ahead and add in a new one. And we can make this actually got a nice. So that is how to create uh, realistic windows from the window generator add-on in Blender Cycles.